So go ahead and relax. Settling in. Feeling uh, the effort in your body just start to dissolve. Letting go of any, of any gripping in the abdomen or the shoulders, your throat, your jaw. The eyes soften, forehead. Feel the hands and feet ungrip. And just allow your awareness to sink into your body. As if you were stepping into it for the first time today. Just gently curious about what's present for you. There may be some sensations internally that feel less than ideal. And there may be some spaces that feel ideal. Letting it all be true, letting it all be there. In these moments of silence, your mind may slip away. And if that happens, just bring it back, awareness of the body. You might start to notice your body moving with your breath. You don't have to control it at all. You don't have to force it. Just see the breath moving. And we'll allow the breath to take our awareness further inward. So become aware of the feeling of your breath at the opening of your nostrils. You may even feel a light flutter of the breath on your upper lip. And then notice the sensation of your breath inside of your nasal passages. It's often cooler on inhale and warmer on exhale. Notice the feeling of your breath at the back of your throat. And then notice the sensation of your lungs filling with breath on inhale and emptying of breath on exhale.
Now again, you're not forcing the breath at all here. You're just noticing it in its natural state. And we'll link these four awarenesses together in what's called the journey of the breath. Your awareness passing through each point, kind of like a checkpoint as the breath flows in and out. And so with your next inhale, notice the breath entering through the, no the nasal passages, the opening of the nostrils, then the nasal passages, the back of your throat, into the lungs. And then exhale, feel the, left, the breath leave the lungs, past the throat, through the nasal passages, and out of the opening. Feel the breath move through the opening, the nasal passages, past the throat, and into your lungs. Feel the breath move out of your lungs, past your throat, through the nasal passages, and out again. And just continue to follow this journey of the breath, helping you to stay focused on the breath. Aware of the journey of the breath in. Aware of the journey of the breath out. And then allow the breath to stay steady. Become aware of your body again. Now it's said that with every thought, there is a feeling in the body. And so I want you to think about when you have to manage your life. Deciding your schedule, you have to organize, plan food, your job. This, when you get into the tendency of managing, what feelings come to your body? And just see if you can amplify that. Not to an overwhelming point, but just so that you know what it feels like in your body when you are in this state. Maybe there's some gripping or tightening. Maybe the rate of your heart changes. And you have to manage. And as you're feeling this, just for a moment, just appreciate that you have the capacity to do this, no matter how well or not well you feel like you do it. Just appreciating your capacity to do so. And then also acknowledge that in this moment for the duration of this practice, that there's actually nothing for you to manage. Not even time. I'll manage that for you. And so just see if you can relax this managing tendency of your mind and also relax that sensation in the body. Almost as if that aspect of you is now resting. And 
And I want you to think of your tendency to criticize. Not judging yourself for that. It's actually quite natural and necessary to critique the world around us. Helps us to assess safety, develop preference, organize, create efficiency. That critical thinking, that critical mind. And when you find yourself in that critical perspective or role, what feelings come to your body when you're assessing the world around and within you? And as you feel those sensations, just appreciating that you have the capacity to critique the world around you for all of the reasons I've mentioned and probably some more. And also acknowledging that in this moment, for the duration of this practice, there's nothing that needs critiquing. And so just see if you can take that tendency and relax it as well, allowing those sensations in your body to soften. And then bring to mind your tendency to be playful. What does it feel like in your body when you are playful? There might be some uh, excitement or agitation, good agitation, maybe. There might be a lack of inhibition, some childlike feelings or curiosities? What does playful feel like in your body? And again, appreciating that you have this capacity to feel playful, even if you don't do it as often as you'd like to, or even if you do it too much gratitude or appreciation that you have that ability. Life doesn't have to be fully serious. And just for the sake of the duration of this practice, just let that playfulness just subside. Relaxing if that feels appropriate. And then bring to mind your tendency to seek truth. And this might be a spiritual perspective. It might also just trying to understand the world around you. It might feel investigative to a level, but it's seeking something. Bigger answers. What does it feel like in your body? When you find yourself in that seeking mode, I'm trying to understand the world, the universe, other. And just appreciate that you seek. No matter how much or little that you do it, just appreciating that you do that. And know that, at least for the duration of this practice today, there's actually nothing to seek. 
And so this seeking energy, the seeking tendency within you can relax for now. You may even feel the sensations in your body softening back. And what you may find is that you are now in a space of not needing to seek. That you're content without answers, without managing, without really grasping for anything. This might feel spacious and open. You might even feel this non-seeking space just fill with compassion. You might sense that as light in your body. And even though we are not seeking, desire can still exist in the space. It's just that we're not grasping for answers. There's nothing wrong with having desire. And so in the space of non-seeking, allow the question to hang in the air, what do I want? And just see if anything comes up. If nothing comes up, that's fine, but just keep contemplating or holding that question there. What do I want? What do I want? You might be surprised about what answer comes up. Again, we're not seeking an answer. So if nothing's coming, just let that be. You might be surprised on how quickly you know exactly what it is you want. But just allowing it to rise to the surface. What comes up might not even make sense to you, and that's okay too. You don't have to understand. What do I want? And if no answer arises, this may be a question that continues to hang in this space. Perhaps it'll become apparent in the future. If anything did arise, just accept it as a gift. Knowing that this thing that you want is not from a place of reactivity or grasping, but more connected to what will truly serve all of you, not just one aspect of your life, but your entire life. And as you move back out into the world, you can slowly make moves to have this desire come to fruition. And keeping that in your heart. Be aware of your body, your breath moving in your body. And 
And as you're ready, please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring your palms together, rub them together. And taking the heated palms over the eyes, brushing over the top of your head and down your neck, and slowly bringing yourself back to the space around you. Mm -hmm. 